Because like people, you know, they know me as a producer in, in a lot of areas, but it's like those kids that you really want to touch, that demographic that you really want to have on lock, they got to be visual because there's so many things that there's so many things that's distracting them every day to want to know who the fuck is Swiss, what Swiss look like, this, that, and the third. So I said, okay, we're gonna set the tone with this. We're gonna give them a remix to like get everybody's attention. Then I'm gonna come with this song right here, my second single. It's called um, Here Come Big Money. Now, it sounds like I'm talking about the money in the streets and this and that, but Big Money is really a kid robot, one of the kid robot um, animations, M-U-N-N-Y. And um, we're doing the, the video and animation from Pixar, which is which is one of my partners with Kid Robot. Mm -hmm. And um, we got the, the money doll, it's like crushing the city, and you got all the little monies running around, because every time you crush a building, money flies out. Mm -hmm. So, more to the story is, everybody's so busy chasing money, chasing big money. Everybody's so busy chasing big money to where, you know, to get materialistic things. Everybody's just chasing him. The thing knocking, he's destroying the whole fucking city where everybody, they not even paying. They like, fuck, oh, you know, that's just the way this world is. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's just chasing all this fucking money. And then at the, towards the end of the video, you know, you see all the people that's chasing money, you see them, they got their jury on, but they cartoons, they little monies for the big money. You know, it look the same, but they but they the little ones. And so everybody, I need to, everybody, everybody got um, the materialistic shit. You see this one with the car, you see this one like got his jury on, you see this one putting the suit on, this and that. But after everybody, you know, pay, take the focus off their materialistic things, when they look around, the whole fucking city's destroyed, right. and none of those materialistic things even matter. There's right. no place to go, nowhere to wear it, nowhere to drive it, none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, the lyrics in the song doesn't really go with the video, and the reason why I did that is because to keep the attention, the, and, you know, keep the attention span of the average listener. Right. You know, it's like talk this shit right here, but when they get to the TV screen, I'm gonna flip the whole story around. Because like I just want to be like a hard act to follow, and I want everything to be unpredictable. So it's like when they think I'm in here talking all this car shit and all this and that, when they see the video, they gonna see I'ma have shit from my dealership and doing all that same shit, and they see some whole fucking animation that looks like lifelike and you know from from Pixar film quality shit that's really looking like some million some million dollar shit, you know, bringing a whole nother quality to video. But doing a song like that to where the, the big money, he got the dance and all that shit. And then I'm bringing another demographic in, you know, in, into the music and making it feel safe. And that's like why I got the kid dancing in this Me Bitches video. Because like, you know, I got kids now, you know what I'm saying? And like people got kids and like, you, you know, people, they just be putting shit on TV. And it's just like, it's, it's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can get your point of course, but you got to know that there's another generation that's watching that. That's, you know, that we got to clean up. Right. So this is a big money.